just one of those things like where you know about the cards from the anime, but not uh, not all the other cards in the set. You only know like you know from the four packs you get to open or whatever. Uh, you know, like when you got to go to the store. Basic insect, wish I had though. Totally cool cards. Uh, Book of Secret Arts, Ray's Body Heat, Kumu Toko. Oh, what? Guys, get out of here. Oh my gosh. In today's video, we're doing a giveaway. If you want to win this Flame Swordsman, all you have to do is leave a comment down below letting me know what's the one card you want to see pulled in this video. What's up guys, I'm Andrew, this is Casual Gaming, and in today's episode we're opening, you guessed it, another box of Legend of Blue Eyes. Now again, for anybody just joining us today, this is the Korean version, and this is episode 14. Uh, this is going to be the 14th box that we've opened, and the reason I say it like that specifically is because this entire series is about trying to complete the Legend of Blue Eyes series from scratch, uh, pulling everything from the boxes themselves. Now, we only need one card. If Can you guess what it is? Come on, guys. Come on. Give it a guess. All right. It's Exodia, the Forbidden One. Now, usually, I shuffle the packs up at the beginning of the video. I've already done that. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into these packs. Again, we're looking for one card, Exodia, the Forbidden One. Let's do this, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Umi, Petite Angel, Hard Armor. Sorry, just setting my piles up. Flame Manipulator, and no. Oh, Arm Ninja. Oh, freaked out a little bit there, guys. Just an Arm Ninja. No reason for concern there. Now, guys, again, we've pulled every other card. Took us a while on some of these, but Exodia, the Forbidden One, that's the one card we're looking at. It's a dark monster. The 13th Grave is not it. Ooh, what is it? Sparks? Taihone, Steel Ogre Grotto, number one, and M Warrior, number one. All right, guys, the hunt continues. 40 packs. At the very least, we get to open some Legend of Blue Eyes, two Ultras, four supers potentially a secret oh yeah wasteland unlike this video ray and temperature vile germs the yusuke yurameshi metabat and giant soldier of stone i really can never get enough of those 2000 defense monsters and uh, giant soldier of stone especially has a special place in my heart i like it even over the mystic wealth against that 1300 attack with only three stars Basic Insect, oh, ho, ho, Legendary Sword with the Legendary Hilt. Predicting the Legendary Pulls. Are we going to do it this box, guys? Are we going to do it? Hinatama Soul, Vile Germs, Frenzied Panda. Oh, every time I get to the last card in the pack, my blood pressure rises a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Hitatsumi Giant, Power of Kaishin, Root Water, Machine Conversion Factory, and our mail. Not your mail, our mail. I don't know how funny that was. We'll keep it going. Legendary Sword. Kagemusha of the Blue Flame. Skull Red Bird. The Yusuke Yurameshi or Yu Yu Hakusho Metabat. And Fissure. That creepy hand trying to escape from the earth. Trying to set themselves free. Mammoth Graveyard. Gotta love the cards that showed up in the anime. Beast Fang. Kagemusha of the Blue Flame. I think Joey actually played that card. Silver Bow and Arrow. Wanatea's cards. And Kumu Toko. I don't think I ever saw that card in the anime. It's just a big, creepy spider. Remove Trap for the three traps in the set. Petite Angel, Silver Bow and Arrow, Larvis, and Flame Ghost. Took a little peek at the bottom card there. At the bottom of the last card. Flame Ghost, of course, very special to us because it was one of the last two rares we needed out of all the rares. Basic Insect, although we do have a ton of them now. Wasteland, the Green Phantom King, Spiked Seedra, and Frenzied. Panda. Nothing exciting in that pack. 
Guys, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit, still trying to have fun, but I realize this is not just for me, this is for you guys too if you're watching. Ooh, if you guys can see that, it looks, it doesn't look as bad on camera, but it looks like there may be a slight dent or crease in the card. Interesting. But anyway, I'm trying to go a little bit quicker. Respect your guys' time. Get through these packs. Spiked Seedra. Mountain. Really cool artwork. Mammoth Graveyard. Terra the Terrible. Oh! And the left leg of the Forbidden One. Guys, episode 14, and we're still going. So we're still... Oh my gosh, guys. We're going to go to episode 15. And funny enough... Uh, if you guys can see here, we've actually got one, two, three, and then really when you count this one, that's four right legs, and then this left leg here is the only other piece we were missing um, for not two almost complete sets, but now three. So guys, we have pulled every piece of Exodia three times. Wow. Left leg of the Forbidden One. If I'm not mistaken, this was the last one that we pulled, so we'll go ahead and we'll set that right there. Beautiful card, guys. Beautiful card. And I guess I get to look forward to doing episode 15 of completing Legend of Blue Eyes. Um, so, hey, cheers to that. Skull Servant. Oh, you silly guy. We know that the pulls are going to be good. Forest. The Furious Sea King. Ray's Body Heat. And Terra the Terrible. He's not so terrible, guys. He's just misunderstood. Dragon Treasure, Armored Starfish, Mammoth Graveyard, Red Medicine, oh ho ho! And the Rygeki. Guys, a uh, funny thing here. Uh, in the last episode, I got three super rare magic cards. I got, oh, I don't remember the exact order, but it was Swords of Revealing Light, Dark Hole, and, oh, what's the other one? See, now I can't even remember what the other one is. Oh, uh, polymerization, that's right. And I said, oh, I got all the super rare magic cards in the set, but Raigeki, I did not get that one. So, oh, uh, let's see, I think we'll just set it right there for now. There we go. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough. So Raigeki, beautiful card. Love the way the light hits that. Totally overpowered card. Wish I'd played it back in the day. It would have done me well. Power of Kaishin, Root Water. Dark World Thorns, Silver Fang, and Spirit of the Harp. Funny enough, back in the day, Spirit of the Harp and Aqua Madure, I didn't even really know about them or use them. Specifically, I would have if I'd known about them. I think maybe I knew about Aqua Madure, but it's just one of those things like where you know about the cards from the anime, but not uh, not all the other cards in the set. You only know like you know from the four packs you get to open or whatever. Uh, you know, like when you got to go to the store. Basic Insect, wish I had though, totally cool cards. Uh, Book of Secret Arts, Ray's Body Heat, Kumu Toko, oh, what? Guys, get out of here. Oh my gosh. Wow, Trihorn Dragon, beautiful card. Oh, I cannot get over the way the light hits these secret rare cards. Wow, beautiful card. All right, we'll go ahead, we'll get that set up right there, and we'll keep moving. Wow. That's the third one that we hit now, wow. I, I keep saying wow, but guys, you know, if you weren't here for the beginning, it took us nine boxes before we hit our first secret. I, I think it might have been something with a seller, but who knows? You know, I don't want to point the finger at anybody. Um, but we're definitely hitting secrets now, so that is awesome. Mystical Moon, the Witty Phantom, Fire Grass, Hinotama, oh, <laughs> And polymerization! Wow! Man, just the way the light shines around. Ah, oh, man. Guys, this is an awesome box. I know that we're not getting Exodia, the Forbidden One, but that's okay. Because, I mean, getting cards like Raigeki, polymerization. Um, I mean, if we were going to get another piece of Exodia that wasn't Exodia, we got the left leg, that was it. Trihorn Dragon, oh my gosh, guys. Beast Fangs, beautiful cards, beautiful cards. Kagemusha of the Blue Flame, Enchanting Mermaid, Skull Servant, and Karba Nala Warrior. Almost halfway done here with the... Oh, I almost said the first stack. Almost done with the first stack, which means we're almost halfway done with the box. Flame Manipulator, 
Book of Secret Arts, The Sweaty Dissolve Rock, Mystical Moon, and M Warrior number two. Wow. Well, I mean, this is kind of the opposite of the last box that we did where everything came at the end. Everything's kind of coming right here in the first half, hitting hard, hitting fast. But that's okay. Silver Bow and Arrow, Dark World Thorns, Basic Insect, Yami, <laughs> and Dark Hole. Oh, right as I'm saying, everything's hitting right in the first half. Wow. Guys, how funny would it be if because I was like, oh, I got every uh, super rare magic card in the set. Uh, and then, you know, I didn't, uh, if I got them this time, cause that's three for four. And we know for sure the last one that we need is Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, let's see it happen. Let's see it happen, guys. All right, keep flipping through these. Mammoth Graveyard, Mountain, Ray and Temperature, Follow Wind, and Kumu Toko the Spider, nobody knows about. 1400 Defense, Three stars, 700 attack, kind of terrible, but honestly one of the better defenses in this set with all the vanilla monsters. The Old Dark Ray, Umi, Mystical Sheep number two, Skull Red Bird, and Larvis. Keeping these packs flying, guys. Again, 40 packs, it's just so much to open, so much. But it's great too, because you get to open 40 packs. Mountain, Ray in temperature, Witty Phantom, Nemo Rico, and the old Goblin Berries sitting on the leaf. Oh, at some point I'm going to have called it that so many times I'll, I've actually forgotten the real name of the card. Skull Servant. Oh man, I'd say predicting the heat, but we've already pulled the heat. It's awesome. Dark Energy. Haven't seen that in a while. Petite Angel. Laser Cannon Armor. Terra, the terribly misunderstood Dark little ogre guy yeah he's clutching his belly having a good chuckle at everything going on all the mayhem in the world Oop. go ahead and fix that my apologies there silver fang sogan beautiful fuel king fog tripwire beast and the witty phantom 1400 attack actually one of the better monsters in the set 1400 attack 1300 defense real beater for its time Sogan, oh, look at that field, so nice. King Fog, Larvis, the 13th Grave, and Dark Fire Dragon, cool looking fusion monster. Guys, we still got one super and one ultra we can pull, could be anything. What do you guys wanna see? Let me know in the comments below, what is it you wanna see left in these packs? Trial by Hell, that's kinda what this is turning into. But not really, because this is still great and we're still opening Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. Yami, Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, Sandstone, and Hard Armor. And I did mean that, guys, in the last episode. I am going to need some Hard Armor to climb in and cry until episode 15. <gasps> Legendary Sword, Hinatama Soul, Metabat, Itatsumi Giant, and Grave Digger Ghoul. That one over there. Oh, again, I think the Gravedigger Ghoul is probably like the first card I ever pulled from a pack of Legend of Blue Eyes. Dark Energy, Hinatama Soul, Tripwire Beast, Hard Armor that I'm gonna need, and Dragon Capture Jar. All right, well, you know, if this was done kind of like in a, uh, like a draft format, Dragon Capture Jar with a Trihorn Dragon. That could definitely put in some work. As simple as that card is. Nimu Rico, Beast Fang, Kagemusha of the Blue Flame, Dragon Treasure, and Man to make you work hard, make you spin hard, looking for Exodia. I know, I totally lied, guys. I knew I was gonna do that again at some point. Follow Wind, Sogan, Monster Egg, Frenzied Panda, oh, and Gaia, Gaia the Fierce Knight, wow. Okay, well with the polymerization, guys, I'd be happy with either a Swords of Revealing Light or a Curse of Dragon. Now, if we got a Curse of Dragon in here, that would be absolutely sick because then you'd have a box where you could, apart from the secret rare, I suppose, 
actually, you have all the cards for Gaia, the Dragon Champion, a secret rare. All right, let's keep going. Stay focused, guys. Stay focused. The Violet Crystal, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Fiery Aru, Basic Insect, and Giant Soldier of Stone. Guys, that is a cool card. Two of them in this box. Two of them. Wow. Man, I would have been so happy as a kid opening two of those in the same box, along with everything else here. Forest, the Furious Sea King, Ugh. Drooling Lizard. Guys, what's he drooling at? Literally everything. Oh my gosh. All right. The Old Dark Gray and Dragonus the Wicked. Getting down to the last few packs here. I think we got about 10 packs or less. Keep moving at a decent speed here. Legendary Sword, Hinotama Soul, Metabat, Itatsumi Giant, and Flower Wolf. I think all we've got left is one super to pull. I mean, we pulled two ultras. We got a secret. Guys, this box has been incredible. Book of Secret Arts, Sweaty Dissolve Rock, One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Mammoth Graveyard, and Reaper of the Cards. What's he coming to reap? I don't know, because this series seems like it is a far cry from being over. Far cry. Beast Fangs, Kagemusha of the Blue Flame, Enchanting Mermaid, Skull Servant, and Hain Hain. One of the few effect monsters in this set. I will not be able to say that about the next set. Metal Raiders has plenty of effect monsters. Plenty of them. All right. Hitatsumi Giant. Remove Trap. Urubi. Wow, I feel like we haven't seen him in a while. Succubus Knight. And Armail. How many packs do we have left here? Two, four, five. Five packs. One super left. Again, guys. Uh, obviously, any of the super rares are cool cards. But we want to see Swords of Revealing Light. Or even better, we want to see Curse of dragon all right we've got flame manipulator hinotama beaver warrior not the greater dragon but the lesser dragon and a warrior number two all right hope you guys oops, i'm having a hard time with this pack hope you guys are having a great day it is beautiful outside uh, where i'm at finally getting some sun amidst the very cold, very dark winter that we have had. My goodness, this pack is ridiculous. Wow. I had to concentrate there. Sorry for the silence. All right. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. You know, I go outside, hug a tree, hug somebody, do something. I don't know. Go live your best life, guys. 13th Grave, Violet Crystal, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Electro Whip, and M Warrior number one. Down to the last three packs. What do you think that super rare is going to be, guys? Could be almost anything. Nimu Rico, Red Medicine, Kurama, Mizu Raizame, and Man Eater. Don't worry, I won't do it this time. Unless I have a really hard time opening this path, which I did not. All right. Wasteland. Green Phantom King, Armored Starfish, Trial by Hell, and it is a magic card. Stop Defense, okay. Well guys, that means the last super rare right here in this pack. Let's find out what it is. Again, thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. Go ahead and smash that like button because these pulls have been sick. And let's see what we have. Electro Whip. Drooling lizard, yeah, he's drooling at everything because everything is awesome. Monster egg, the drooling lizard before he was a lizard or drooling. Sparks and moment of truth. Is it a magic card? Oh, it's a trap hole. There we go. Well, check that out, guys. We haven't pulled trap hole in forever. I feel like you got this guy. He's just that light's hitting him. He's just trying to get out, but he can't. There's just no hope. There's just no hope for that guy. But don't worry, I'm talking about the guy in the card. Absolutely no correlation to how I'm feeling about this series. I'm going strong. I said from the beginning what I was going to do. 
I did not think we were going to have to go to episode 15, guys, but oh my gosh, episode 15. I will see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed the video and the polls. Man, wow. Wow. <laughs>